Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. I am Shruti Banerjee and today I am going to discuss the part 2 of top 5 interview questions from the topic R and Statistics. These questions are frequently being asked by the top companies during the interview. So let's begin. Question 1. What do you mean by reserved keywords? Reserved keywords in R programming are a set of words that have a special meaning and cannot be used as an identifier, variable name, function name, etc. For example, if, else, while, true, false, repeat, while, for, in, next, break, etc. are used for conditions, loops and user-defined functions. The reserved keywords are always blue in color. Moving to the next question, what is the purpose of C bind in R and what is the prerequisite? The C bind in R stands for column bind. The C bind function in R language is used to combine specified vector, matrix or data frame by columns. The package needed to use the cbind function in R is the mice package. The prerequisite for using the cbind function in R is that the number of rows and columns should be the same. Moving to the third question. What is the purpose of rbind in R? The name rbind function in R stands for row bind. The row bind function can be used to combine several vectors, matrices or data frames by row. The package needed to use the rbind function in R is the plyr package. Moving to the fourth question. What is the R command to list all the variables which are present in the memory and how can you remove all the variables together? The R command that is used to list all the variables which are present in the memory is ls command. It shows what data sets and function a user has defined. And we can remove all the variables together by using the rm function. The rm function is used to delete objects from the memory. We can also use the remove function. The remove function works similarly to the rm function. Moving to the last and fifth question, what is the role of g sub function in R? The g sub function replaces all the matches of a string. If the parameter is a string vector, then it will return a string vector of the same length and with the same attributes. We can also say that the g sub function in R is used for replacement operation. The function takes the input and substitutes it against the specified values. The g func sub function always deals with regular expression. For example, replace failed with failure. Let us consider a sentence and we will store it in a variable m. m equals to success is not final failed is not fatal. Now we will replace the word failed with the word failure. Then we will use g sub function. Then we will use the word that we want to replace that is failed. Then we will put that one with which we want to substitute that is failure and then we will put m in which the sentence is stored. As a result we will get the output in which the word failed will be replaced by the word failure. This is all about the g sub function. I hope this all questions are very helpful for you all. Thank you for watching the video.